How you doing everyone? I'm just going to do a quick tutorial of John Mayer's acoustic version of something like Olivia. Um, there's, I saw a few tutorials uh, on this already, on this version, and um, everybody did a great job. I'm just going to touch on some of the more difficult parts and some of the parts that I feel some people missed. Uh, while all the versions are great and, and most of them are accurate, they're not 100% accurate. And what I mean by that is just like um, the rhythm, the feel of the song, and also the turnaround. I haven't seen anybody really nail it yet and really nail the, the, the rhythm and the feel like John has. I mean, I, I think I got it, um, but, you know, I'll let you guys be the judge of that. But uh, here it goes. It's a little hard to convey a rhythm and a feel on a video, so try to teach that. But I'll try to give you the, you know, the basics or whatever, the foundation of it. Um, I'm not going to get into, like, every note and tab and, and everything like that because there's already videos like that out there. So I'm just going to try to just do a quick video and uh, really just touch on the more difficult parts because if you go back and look at the videos that are already out there and you get the main parts and the riffs and stuff like that and then maybe you watch my video uh, and you kind of put the two together maybe you'll get the real accurate and the real vibe of the song so the first thing I want to touch on is, is, the, is the, the strum pattern so palm muting in this song is really important and he palm mutes even in the riff um, he palm mutes so if you can't palm mute, practice that you know, and that's just strumming all the strings and then having your palm mute them at the same time. Um, so if you can't do it, practice it. If you can do it, then you want to do it in the proper places and at the proper times. And so his muting comes on the two and the four. So it's like one and two and three and four. Um, you know, so he, he mutes on the two and the four. So he starts off on the G string. Uh, he starts off on the G chord. So hopefully everybody knows the chords. It's G, it's G C, and D. And that's the chord, so, and hopefully you know the main riff. Okay, and so that rhythm is, if you would just grab a chord and mute it. That's the rhythm. Okay? And and when he goes and we start singing and he goes to that C, that's the rhythm. It's just a Okay? is T, but I guess that hurts can be found from time to time. Okay, so it's just... That's the rhythm. Same thing with the D. That's the rhythm, okay? Um, then I'm going to go to right to the turnaround. So the turnaround... Um, goes... Uh, and right there the strum pattern is important. So I'll do it slow. He starts on the 5th fret and he walks his up. So... dying here so hopefully I could just finish this up quick hold on okay um. that's just a slide so. then he grabs his chord and it's important to put your thumb on the eighth fret on the bass note and bar these you know uh, second third and fourth string on the seventh fret put your middle finger down on the second string on the eighth fret and then you're going to hammer with your third finger on the third string, ninth fret. So. 
And if you just play the bottom notes here, it's going to sound a little tinny, so you want to play that bass note. Get that full chord in there. Um, and then he hammers. And all this strum pattern is, is... So it's like a, it's like up, and then he, and then he hits down. So that's it slow though. So it's down, down, up, and then on the down, so it's down, down, up, down. Down, down, up, and on the down you want to mute. So it's down, down, up, mute. And then it's just down, up, mute. So down, down, up, mute. Down, up, mute. And you want to mute, so. So what that is, that's the hard part, that's the turnaround. So after he does this, he slides and then he slides up. And then he plays this main riff and then he slides. Okay, so that, I exaggerated there, but. So, try that again. Um, after, after this, uh, Slide, slide up, and then, and then here he walks up again. So, but when you get to this, when you get to this fourth string on the seventh fret, he does a quick slide and come back, half step, and then he just so from the fifth to the seventh to the fifth, you're starting on the fifth. 5th fret, 4th string, and then playing the 5th string on the 7th on the uh, fret, excuse me, so, okay, then you're going to bar with your 1st finger right here on the 7th fret, you're going to bar the 5th, 4th, and 3rd, and hammer on the 5th, so, and then hit them open. So. And then he mutes. So then he mutes there, and then he hammers again, and then he hammers on the fourth string. So he hammers on the fifth, and then he walks up with his first, second, third on the fifth string. But you kind of want to hit the fifth and the fourth, and maybe even the third string. Okay. It's that fifth string. Then he comes down and he does the same thing. He bars on the fifth fret and he does the same thing. Only on the last note there, that he doesn't play that note. He just mutes like. And then he goes, walks up. So he slides that half step, and then he slides back. Make sure you pick both of them. Don't just go. Or else it won't be authentic. And then he does the same one. And then he does it. It's a real one time quick, the whole thing. So I hope I helped you out with the feel of the song. I hope you I helped you out with that difficult turnaround part. Again, last time, real slow.
Okay? Any questions, comments, feel free to ask. Take care.